Hey friends, it's Alyssa. <laughs> um, long time no see. So I'm back, as I promised, and what we're doing today is just a basic energy checkup on how your person of interest is feeling about you. I thought we would do this uh, since it's been a while. Um, again, I apologize for my absence. I had not intended to take a three week break, but that's what happened. Um, I am intending to get back to my weekly upload schedule from here on out. So um, we've got three decks to choose from today. Uh, for deck number one, we have the Golden Tarot. And on top of that, I have this Selenite Bar. Uh, for deck two, we've just got this classic Rider Waite Smith deck with a piece of Rose Quartz. And for deck three, we have the Wild Unknown Tarot with a piece of Clear Quartz here. Okay, so I will give you guys a moment to make your choices, and then we'll get started. Um, who else is excited for October. October is one of my favorite months of the year. I love October. I love the fall. I love Halloween. I love to get spooky. Um, so I'm very excited and I'm, I feel like I'm at peak power right now. <laughs> um, so let's get started, shall we? All right, deck one. That's gonna bother me. Okay. Deck one, how is your person feeling about you? Okay, so right away we have the page of coins falling out and the six of swords. Looks like some kind of message coming through just right off the bat because pages are messengers, and the Six of Swords is movement, it's um, reconciliation, peaceful resolutions. We've got the Ten of Wands here, some kind of burden, something weighing on somebody. Let's see what else wants to come out. Queen of Coins. How's group one's person feeling about them? Six of coins. The hermit. Seven of Swords, the Moon, let me get one more, the Empress, okay. Okay, group one, how does your person feel about you? So, like I said, right away we have... I'm getting communication happening. It seems to me like for most of you, you and the person that you're thinking about are probably in separation or you have little or no contact. And I get that from the Hermit card and also the Seven of Swords. The Hermit card is about keeping to yourself, isolation, withdrawal. Um, the Seven of Swords is kind of similar. It's um, it can indicate deception, it can sometimes. Um, it can also represent some kind of sneaky behavior. You can see this guy here, he sort of looks as if he's just snagged these swords and now he's sneaking away. Um, presumably about to 
like go into hiding or something. Um, so I get this feeling like your person that you're thinking about has kind of been in hiding. Um, the moon, this is the unknown. This is something that's hidden from you. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like your person has been really keeping themselves at a distance and you've been kind of wondering lately what's what's going on what you know why um where have you been what have you been doing um it feels like feels like even though they have been away from you and they have been very quiet it seems uh I feel that they they do want to reach out to you because we've got the page of coins, we've got the six of swords, we've got the six of coins. Six of coins is not like explicitly about communication, but I personally associate it a lot with communication just because it's about generosity, it's about giving, it's about reciprocation and balance. It's like, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's like consistency, you know, something something stable and something consistent. So um, I feel like your person of interest is really thinking about reaching out to you. It seems to me like, um, you know, whatever went on between the two of you in the past has been really weighing on them with the Ten of Swords, this, or Ten of Wands, this is something, this is something that's weighing you down. This is some kind of burden, and it feels to me like your person has been carrying around some kind of guilt or some kind of just negative energy pertaining to something that happened between you in the past. And of course, with this just being a general reading, that could be an, any number of things Take it how it applies to your situation. If this doesn't at all sound like your situation, then this probably isn't the reading for you. Um, but I feel like, okay, I, I feel like there was some kind of conflict, some kind of falling out, and as a result of that, your person has gone within, your person has ba basically vanished, ghosted you, disappeared, whatever. And for some of you, this has been going on for a long time now. I think some of you just picked this, you know, clicked on this video because you were curious. You just kind of wanted to know, like, are they still thinking about me? What's going on with them? And I think they are. I think that they have been holding on to whatever happened between you for a while. There's, you know, regardless of how long it's been since you last spoke to this person or whatever, I feel like they're still holding on to this regret, this guilt, this grief. Because for a lot of you, those are the kinds of feelings that they're experiencing uh, pertaining to this connection. A lot of grief happening, a lot of, like, self-criticism as well. I think a lot of your, um, people are blaming themselves a lot for whatever happened between you. I think it's possible, it's, it's very possible that they are keeping an eye on you somehow because... I'm getting that for a lot of you, they're seeing you being very successful. They're seeing you as being very successful right now. Um, and I get that from the Queen of Coins and also the Empress card. These two are kind of similar. These two cards are representing people who really have it together, who are very stable, who... Um, are having all of their needs met and who have the means to get what they want and, and they know what they want and this is this is success this is an energy of success and 
victory and just moving forward with your lives. So I feel like a lot of you have kind of been doing that, or at least you've been projecting that um, to the world. And your person has been seeing that somehow. Um, they might be creeping on you a little bit or keeping tabs on you through some mutual acquaintance or something like that. Um, but they're seeing this they're seeing you being successful and they're seeing you being happy. And that's making them want to approach you. That's making them want to kind of wiggle back into your life. Because it's like... I feel like for some of you, this... This is not going to be applicable for everyone, but for some of you in the past, earlier on in this separation or a period of little contact, they were seeing you as kind of miserable, kind of unhappy. You may have been, you may have been uh, projecting that type of energy out without even really intending to, but it's like, for some of you, they they had perceived that you were not in a good headspace, that your energy was not, not very positive, and that was very off-putting for them, but now it seems like for the vast majority of you, your energy has shifted into a much more positive, uh, in a much more positive way, your vibrations are, are higher, you just seem happier, and you're... You know, as far as they can see, you are out pursuing your goals and pursuing things that make you happy and you're doing your thing. And that's that makes you much more appealing to them. And for some of you, I'm getting... For some of you, you may actually be seeing other people now. And that also, in a way, is making you even more appealing because now there's this... It, it, now now you are like even more unattainable than you were and something about that unattainability is very attractive to some people so if you're seeing other people now and you are you know putting that online or talking about that to people that they might also know they kn they're aware they're aware they've seen it they've heard about it and it makes them want you more. Um, but even if you're not seeing other people, like, the point still stands. They're seeing you doing your own thing, you know, pursuing your own goals and being happy. And that makes you much more appealing and attractive to them. And it's kind of like, I want some of that. Um, because from their point of view, it looks like you have really moved on from them. And, you know... They, on the other hand, have not. <laughs> um, like I said, it seems to me like regardless of how long this period of little or no contact has gone on, they're still thinking about it. They're still carrying this around. And so... I feel like they... I feel like they want to come towards you. They kind of want to come out of hiding. They want to illuminate themselves. Uh, they want to reach out. It's like with the page of coins and the six of swords. You know, like I said at the start, the six of swords is really about reconciliation. A lot of times in relationship readings, it's about peaceful resolutions. It's about coming together in, you know, calmer waters and moving forward. And I think that's what this person would like. I think they would like to come towards you and make you some kind of offer, possibly. Um, I mentioned a few minutes ago, it seems to me like they want to wiggle their way back into your life. Because the coins are about consistency, they're about stability, they're about commitment. So it's like, I'm getting that your person doesn't just want to say, hey, how you doing, and check in. 
I'm getting that for the majority of you, they want to actually make themselves a fixture in your life again. They want to be a consistent part of your life again. Okay. And I just want to uh, point out that, you know, just because this is something your person wants to do, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will do it. Everybody has free will. It's ultimately their choice, whether they reach out and attempt to, you know, become a fixture in your life again. Um, but this is what I'm getting. Like, this is, you know, this is the strongest collective energy for all of you who chose this group. Um, so for most of you, it's looking like that's, that's what they want. They want to reach out. They want to make you some kind of offer. They want to worm their way back in. Um, because I think they miss you, and it's like they, they want, they want a little bit of your happiness and success for themselves. Not that they want to take it away from you, but they want to feel that. Because it seems to me like they have not felt that in some time. If it seems to me like this is a person who's not all that content with themselves or their situation. This seems to be a person who's kind of stagnating and it feels like they have been stagnating for for a while now. And they're seeing you out there moving forward with your life, not stagnating, you know, chasing your dreams, getting promotions, traveling, whatever. It's like they want, they're, they're thinking to themselves, like, I want some of that. Because it seems to me like they don't have, they don't have a ton of people in their lives, you know, immediately around them who are doing those things, who are actually, like, really happy and successful and doing the things that they want to do. There's a lot of stagnant energy around this person in their everyday existence. And they want to break out of that and they're seeing you in this very positive, very active energy, and it's, like I said, it's kind of making them feel very drawn to you. It's making them really feel pulled towards you. Um, so, I think I want to pull out maybe one, one or two oracle cards, and just see if there's anything else that they want to add. We have the engagement card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So um, the Romance Angel Oracle cards, I don't really interpret literally. Um, in this context, this is, this is basically saying the same thing as the Page of Coins. This is saying your person wants to have some degree of stability, wants to have some level of commitment with you. Um, this card's really about, you know, like it says, your some some relationship, some connection ascending to a higher level of commitment. So if you don't really have any kind of relationship with this person at this point in time, then the next level would be, you know, having <laughs> having a connection again, having communication again. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, this is like this person wanting to get back in at the level of, you know, maybe, maybe like the friendship level for now. Um, for some of you, your person may be content to just be friends with you. For others of you, though, um, they're ultimately going to want more. Um, it just depends. This is just general, like I said. So, um, yeah, deck one, that's what I've got for y'all today. Um, I hope this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, like I said, this is just a general reading, so take, how, uh, take it how it resonates. 
take what applies to your situation and leave the rest. If you want a reading that is specifically tailored to you, I do offer those. Um, the link to my Etsy store is in the description below. I do have orders open as of right now. They do occasionally sell out. Um, they do occasionally close for a few days at a time. Um, it all depends on like my current volume of orders and what's going on in my personal life. Um, but if you ever go to my shop and they're closed or they're sold out, just come back in a few days and they'll probably be back. Okay, so deck one, thanks again for joining me. We're going to move on now to group two, which was the Rose Quartz. All right, group two, let's find out how your person of interest is feeling about you lately. Oh my. So we have the Three of Swords right away. Three of Swords is not a great card. Three of Swords is sadness, grief, heartache, betrayal. Let's see what else wants to come out though. We have the world. Ah, okay. How is group two's person feeling about them? We've got the page, sorry, the four of pentacles. Five of cups. Whoa. That's too many cards. Ten of swords. Interesting. We have a lot of heavy cards coming out here today. Group two. Nine of pentacles. Nine of cups. Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so, um, like I said, a lot of heavy cards, a lot of kind of uh, intense energy for you guys, deck two. Um, so, like I said, first of all, we have the Three of Swords coming out. This card is kind of sad. It's, it's emotional despair, it's grief, it's, um, like, it's it's just heartache. It's just it's just heartache and, and sadness. Um, we also have the five of cups. This card is kind of similar. It also tends to represent grief, loss. Uh, a lot of times, though, it indicates that somebody is really fixating on the negatives. Um, in this image, we have this person looking down at these overturned cups. They have two more behind them that are still upright, but they're not paying attention to this. They're only looking at what's gone wrong. They're only looking at the negative side of things, not the positive side of things, not, uh, you know, not the silver lining of the situation, so to speak, or, you know, the things that they still have that are going right. Um, the Ten of Swords... This is like the Three of Swords, magnified. Uh, this is painful, difficult endings. This is feelings of defeat. Um, really intense grief, loss. Your person... See, but we also have these cards being kind of... counterbalanced by some really positive ones. We've got the world, first of all, which is, you know, if you're asking how somebody feels about you and you get the world card, that's a really good sign. Um, the world card is like everything. The world card is achievement, accomplishment. It's kind of like this person sees you as the world. Um, it's it's pretty straightforward. This is this is very positive energy. Um, this is like admiration. This is like you 
really intense fondness, affectionate feelings. It's almost like this person is kind of in awe of you. You were just an awe-inspiring person. I think your person that you're thinking about sees you as someone who is very unique, very different from what they're used to, the kind of person that they're used to. I think, you know, they really see you as a one-of-a-kind individual, and they see you as independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, self-loving. They see you as a loving person in general. The Nine of Pentacles is, um, you know, it has those associations that I just mentioned. Um, also, in relationship readings, a lot of times this card represents someone who is single. And someone who is, someone who's single and is making the most out of that time on their own being single you know somebody who's not really actively looking for a partner somebody who's just very content to be independent and self-sufficient and very happy with themselves and kind of just in love with themselves in a good way not in a narcissistic way <laughs> um so that's kind of how they're seeing you we also have the ace of cups and the nine of cups here um Again, very positive cards. These cards are about unconditional love. You know, the ace, this is love overflowing from this cup. And the nine of cups is really about, like, wish fulfillment. So it's kind of like they are seeing you as the ideal person, the ideal partner, whatever the case may be. Um, whatever type of connection you're asking about. It's kind of like you are, you're everything that this person wants. This is a connection that your person is not willing to let go of. They do feel very protective of you. They feel possibly a little bit possessive, um, maybe kind of jealous at, at times. But the main thing that I'm getting from the Four of Pentacles is protectiveness. It's like they want to know that you're safe at all times. They want to, they want to have you to themselves, really. Um... And then the Seven of Wands, this card is about struggle. It's about, like, obstacles. It can indicate defensiveness. Um, in this context, though, I feel like your person, your person definitely has a lot of love for you. However, they're also feeling a lot of grief and sadness because I think from their perspective, there are a lot of obstacles in this relationship, in this connection. It's like, if you're not actually in a relationship with this person, then this would imply that they are perceiving, you know, a lot of obstacles to the two of you getting together. Um, alternatively, if you are in a relationship with this person, this would mean that there's there's a lot going on. There's There are a lot of external factors that are playing a role in your relationship and kind of holding things back. It's like this person, whatever the case is between you, whatever the nature of your relationship is at this point in time, it's like they want things to move forward. They want things to move forward because they do have a lot of love for you. They do see you in an extremely positive light. They want to be closer to you. You are extremely important to them. This connection is extremely important to them. It's something they don't want to have to ever let go of. But it feels like there are so many things that are blocking this connection at this point in time. And it's making them feel kind of helpless, kind of defeated. Like... How do we move forward? For some of you, I'm getting that this could be, you know, actual physical distance. If this is like a long distance connection, there may be difficulties in the two of you actually getting to one another to see each other. Um, for others of you, this could be other people interfering in this relationship. This could even be, 
you know, somebody's emotional state, um, fear, uncertainty, someone, you know, who's, who's not really willing to let their walls down, you know, it could be something as simple as that. Um, if that's the case, your person wants to allow themselves to be vulnerable, but they're really struggling to do that, and that makes them feel bad. Um, so, you know, those are just a few examples of what kind of scenario this could apply to. Um, take it how it resonates with you. But in general, your person's just feeling, your person's just feeling kind of defeated, like I said. Kind of sad. It seems to me like they, they, this is something they want so bad. And this is something that they want to fight for. This is something that they feel is worth fighting for. But it seems like they've been fighting and they've made such little progress. That's how they feel. Let me pull out maybe one or two of these oracle cards and see if there's anything they want to add for you guys, group two. This one was a little bit shorter than group one, but it's, it's a very straightforward kind of energy here. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, like I was saying, for some of you, this obstacle is just your person or yours. Some Take it however it applies. The obstacle is just somebody's unwillingness to really open up or fear about really opening up. Um, you know, this is talking about them wanting to let you in or wanting to get in closer to you um but more broadly speaking this is just about this is really just about deepening this connection becoming closer together emotionally for some of you physically as well like i said for some of you this is referring to a long distance relationship that's had a lot of delays and setbacks in general, this is just talking about closeness. This is deepening the connection. Like, that's what this person wants so, so much. But it feels, feels like they've just been running in place. That's kind of how they feel. Like, they've been fighting and pushing and fighting and pushing, but they've, they've not really gotten anywhere. Um, for some people... It kind of feels as though it's just been one thing after another, one obstacle after another. Once one thing gets, you know, settles down and is taken care of, then something else pops up. And it's... Your person, I think, at, at times is questioning... This is just for some of you, but at times your person questions, is this really the right thing for me to be pursuing? because all of these blockages keep coming up. But I think every time they have that type of thought, they they don't dwell on that too much. And it's like, for most of you, they are telling themselves that this is a test. This is a test. This is a test of their strength and their patience and their commitment to this desire. Um, and I think from the majority of you, your person wants to prove themselves. They want to pass this test. They want to, you know, they want to keep working to overcome these blockages. It's just that, you know, they're, they're just feeling a bit down. They're feeling discouraged. I think for most of you, they are going to keep pushing for some of you, though, they might allow themselves to give in to this Ten of Swords kind of energy and just allow this to, you know, to to fade out for now, for the time being. But for, for most of you, I think they're going to keep pushing. Because this is something that they really want. This person has a lot of love for you, okay? 
Um, if you ever feel doubtful of that, I don't really think there's a, a need to be because <laughs> it's, it's coming through strong. Um, and the intensity of these negative emotions are just because they feel so intensely about you in general. Um, so when things aren't working out, it, it really affects them. Um, so group two, that's the message that I have for you. That's how your person's feeling. Um, I hope this is helpful. I hope this uh, resonated with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. And lastly, we have group three, which was the clear quartz. Let's find out how group three's person is feeling about them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we've got judgment, first of all. Judgment is a pretty intense card, I gotta say. Um, it's, it's, it's like big changes happening now. Um, it's awakenings, it's rebirth, it's restoration. Let's see what else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of cards. We have the Knight of Wands. More intensity. The Ace of Swords. This person's feelings towards you are pretty intense. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what else. There's the Seven of Swords. Oops. The Hierophant. Group three's person feeling about them. The Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. And the Five of Cups. Okay. So, um, like I said, we this this energy overall feels kind of heavy. Um, not really in a bad way. It's just strong. It's intense. We've got a couple cards here that have like lightning happening in the background. We've got judgment. This is big change. This is awakenings. This is spirituality. Um, I feel like those of you who picked this deck are definitely dealing with a soulmate, like a high level soulmate, possibly a twin flame kind of thing, uh, because we have so many cards that kind of talk about that judgment, the hierophant. We also have counterparts here, the queen and king of cups. And whenever counterparts show up in a reading, I always see that as a sign of a soul connection at play. Um, I also, you know, typically this also represents a couple or two people who are going to be a couple at some point in time. This is an indication of some type of union happening. Um, the Hierophant, another card that's, you know, spirituality and wisdom and also can represent marriage. So, okay. The person that you're thinking about, I think, first of all, with the, the Knight of Wands, this is attraction. This is excitement, passion, enthusiasm. This is physical chemistry. This is sexual attraction. Um, but also this card talks to me about magnetism. 
So what that means is I think the person that we're talking about feels very pulled towards you. Um, the Ace of Swords, this is, you know, all aces are associated with new beginnings. The Ace of Swords is really about like wanting some kind of fresh start that's based on clarity, that's based on truth, that's, you know, where, where all of the unnecessary things, all of the nonsense, all of the bullshit has been cut away and you can just start fresh with a clean slate no interferences. Um, it seems to me like you and this person have had some rocky history and they, I feel like in the past this has been a very in and out type of connection. They, they couldn't really commit, they couldn't really settle down, but they couldn't stay away from you either. And so that's why they were in and out in the past. Now it seems to me like this person is kind of waking up to the fact that there's something more to this relationship than what they initially thought or what they realized. Um, I think that they are coming to figure out that this is something very major. This is something significant. This is something that's supposed to help them gain some new insights about themselves. Seven of Swords is about something being brought to light, some secret being revealed, you know, the truth coming out. And so it's like, through this connection, they have been learning some truths about themselves. Even if you've been separated from this person and on the surface, you know, if you happen to be looking at their social media or hearing about them from other people, even if things seem to be calm with this person on the surface or like business as usual with this person on the surface, like they just look like they've been doing their usual thing. Um, looks can be very deceiving. This person's inner life has been very tumultuous. It's been very up and down. They've been experiencing a lot of inner changes. Um, they have been doing a lot of growth. They've been doing a lot of maturation. The King of Pentacles is a very mature, stable, solid energy. Um, the King and Queen of Cups are, like I said, their counterparts. They also have a strong association with um, unconditional love. And in this context, they're talking to me about self-love. I think your person has been learning how to love themselves, which is important um, because if you, in my opinion, Knowing how to love yourself really allows you to appreciate other types of love on a much deeper level. Um, that's just my personal opinion. That's been my experience. But um, I feel like that's that's what your person's been going through. They've been learning how to. They've they've been learning a lot about themselves. They've been coming to coming to terms with a lot of things about themselves, making peace with certain aspects of themselves or aspects of their past. It seems to me like this person is experiencing a lot of regret about perhaps how they treated you in the past or just the types of things that went on between you, the way they acted towards you, some, you know, certain things they might have said, or even might not have said, they might be regretting, you know, not expressing certain things to you and that they wish they had. Um, just the Five of Cups here is just very, very much about regret. And I think that this person is really wishing that they had done things differently because I think they're starting to understand that your connection to them 
is playing a much larger role in their lives than they ever anticipated, than they, you know, maybe even thought possible. And I think they're starting to appreciate you. They're starting to learn how to appreciate you more, and they wish that they could express that to you. But for a lot of you, um, your person is really not sure how you would respond to them coming back, reaching out to you, whatever. And so that's kind of, that's also got them feeling a little bit out of sorts because it's like they, they want to approach you. Like they, they've come to this conclusion that you are to some extent destined to be in each other's lives, but they have alienated themselves from you or, you know, this is just general. So that's, that's the, that's the strongest kind of energy that I'm getting. I feel like this person for most of you walked away from you. Um, and they're, they're like, they're figuring out that this is something that's important, that this is something that's kind of meant to serve some higher purpose. And they're feeling very drawn to you and they really would like to have a fresh start, but they're also kind of fearful about coming forward. Um, with the Seven of Swords here, this little fox is kind of peeking out, uh, like, sort of anxiously, kind of like, ooh, what's, what's going on? What's going to happen? Um, like, like, they're kind of afraid to really open up and just, just, just come out and, and come forward to you. Um, this person may be a little bit intimidated. Because I think they have figured out that you're more powerful than they realized. And I mean that in the sense that, kind of kind of like I already mentioned, there's, there's a lot of spiritual significance to this that they're just starting to figure out. Some of you, your person is further along than others in this realization process or this coming to terms with this. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, your person does have a lot of love for you. They think about you all the time. And they're grateful to you for helping them learn some of these things about themselves and come to terms with some of these things. And I think for most of you, your person wishes that they could express that to you. But, like I already mentioned, they're also... they don't know how welcome they would be and they're a little bit afraid of coming forward and being rejected or you know pushed away um, because they know that's kind of how they treated you and they know that that was wrong but they they don't want to be treated in the same way that they treated you in the past does that make sense um, I want to pull out one or two oracle cards and see if there's anything that they want to add to this Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, this is what they want. Like I said with the Ace of Swords, they want to come clean. They want to open up to you. They want to reveal themselves. They want to express their truth to you. Um, because it's like they've learned so much about themselves and about your connection, or they are learning so much, and they... They kind of, they, they want to talk to you about it, but they're also afraid to. Because I think for a lot of you, your person feels like they're kind of crazy. Um, for some of you, they may not have really believed in this type of thing before. You know, they, may, they might not have, you know, felt any major significance between you. Or they might not have even believed in the idea of soulmates or whatever. Um... I feel like for the majority of you, this, this person wasn't super spiritual, um, but now they're becoming more so, and they feel kind of crazy. They don't really, they don't really have any experience with anything like this, and they don't really, 
know of anybody who has been through similar things and so they feel like they don't have anybody to talk to and they feel like they're very alone in this journey right now and that makes them feel like a crazy person basically um so that's also what's something that's holding them back from you um for some of you, they're worried that you will think that they are a crazy person. For others of you, they are like, they don't want you to be like, I told you so. Because for some of you, you did talk to these, talk to this person about this type of thing and they didn't really believe you or they didn't really buy it, whatever. Um, and they just don't want to hear that, you know, I told you so. Like, <laughs> it's, um, yeah it's there's a lot going on with this person there's a lot of changes that are happening in their life right now and they want you to know that they're sorry for how they treated you in the past and they want you to know that they're they're getting it now they're getting it take that however it resonates with you because for some of you that that's going to mean different things for all of you they're getting it now okay so um that was a little bit intense and uh that's really that's really all the messages that i'm getting for you guys so i think we're going to wrap this up um, group three, I hope this resonated with you. Um, take what applies to your situation and leave the rest. If you would like a reading that is uh, specifically tailored to you, I do offer personal readings. The link to my Etsy store is in the description box as always. Um, so check that out if you're interested. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!